Habarigani, what's the news? Hi guys, this is Joy. And um, this year I decided to incorporate using my essential oils with the celebration of Kwanzaa. So in my house, I've been celebrating Kwanzaa for about 25 years now, since I was in college or so. And it's really fun to teach my kids about it. I have before, but um, we are really going to celebrate it a lot this year because what I love about it is that it helps teach us about unity and togetherness and really determining who we are and to set goals and make plans for the coming year. And so I thought, well, why not share how I'm incorporating the essential oils with it as well? So today I'm just gonna go through the seven principles of Kwanzaa and which oil that um, I'm using to correspond to help enhance or celebrate that principle. And so I'm going to start with a little bit of background about Kwanzaa. It is an African-American, African diaspora celebration. It is not a religious holiday, it is a cultural holiday. And the purpose is really to help um, bring unity, to bring um, guidance to bring love into the community, into the family, and into the home. And so that's why I love it. And it also is built upon lots of um, African traditions and things that we can learn about. And it's to make kind of that connection with um, where we originally come from and also to bring about some unity, especially a lot of it that was destroyed during um, slavery in the US and the Caribbean and other parts of the world. So that's why I love it. So like I said, that there are seven principles in Kwanzaa and each day from December 26th through January 1st, we celebrate a different principle of Kwanzaa. The first principle of Kwanzaa is Umoja, which means unity. And for um, in Umoja, I chose the oil of cedar wood. So cedar wood is a wood oil, obviously. It's a very grounding oil and I love it. And um, two books that I use celebrating Kwanzaa this year, this one is a really simple, easy guide. It's called The Seven Days of Kwanzaa by Angela Shelf Medeiros. And then I'm also going to rely a lot, and I already rely a lot on this one, but this is the Emotions and Essential Oils book. I love that book as well. So what does it say about cedarwood? So cedarwood is known as the oil of community. And so I'm just going to read you what it says, and you'll see why it's perfect for um, today for Umoja. So cedarwood brings people together to experience the the strength and the value of community. Those in need of cedarwood struggle to form bonds within social groups. This can often be due to an overdeveloped sense of an individuality. Um, rather than allowing oneself to be supported by family, friends, or community, they live with excessive self reliance. On the other hand, the individual's difficulty forming social roots may also stem from feeling disconnected and separate from the human family. That sounds sad. Cedarwood inspires the feeling of belonging and assists the heart in opening to receive the love and support of other people. It invites the strong-willed individual to couple um, the strength of individuality with the supportive power of community. Cedarwood supports individuals in seeing that they are not alone. Life is a shared experience. Cedarwood also assists in opening the awareness of individuals to the support system that is already available to them, such as friends or family that have been overlooked. It invites individuals to both give, to give, and to receive so that they may experience the strength of groups and the joy of relationships. So one thing that the oils always um, like to teach about is when you're using them for emotional support, they, um, they're they not gonna do the work of, um, of experiencing the emotions for you. They're not gonna do the work. You have to do the work experiencing and working through your emotions. But what the oils do are support you as you're trying to experience those oils. So what they, um, the goal is to move you on the continuum of experiencing the emotions, the so moving from a negative set of emotions to a more positive experience. And so cedar wood is meant to help you move um, um, from the negative emotions of the inability to form bonds or social roots, it's trying to move you away from loneliness, feeling disconnected or separate from the human family and from 
uh, move you away from feeling antisocial. But what it wants to help you move toward is feeling connected, um, belonging, or uh, supported, having social bonds, neighborly, and finding joy in relationships. And so I think this is the perfect oil. Cedarwood is known as the oil of community. So if you, um, so what we're doing, and we are diffusing these oils as we read our principles and talk about our principles. We're also pulling and doing black history um, flashcards as well each day, each person's pulling one. Um, as I was growing up, my mother and father always had black history lessons for me. So I learned a lot of black history as well. Probably why I minored in African-American studies at U of H. But we're also passing around the oil and smelling it and learning more about the oils as well and connecting them. And so for me, you know, um, the oils are very personal. I love them because it does give me a connection to plants, to earth. And, you know, um, our ancestors were really connected to the earth. And so I, I think... Fitting the oils with Kwanzaa is a perfect fit. So I just wanted to share that with you and I will have a um, video for each principle for each day. So this is the principle of Umoja, which is unity. And so um, the goal is to work together in peace with our family, our community, our nation, and our race. And that's Umoja. And I hope that you have a very blessed day and be all amazing. Harambe.